Good morning. Welcome back to the little house. We took a few days off of vlogging, not for any particular reason. I just have to take the camera off my hand now and then or I am in danger of becoming a cyborg. Um, <laughs> so we are trying to catch up today. So I grabbed Nick this morning and we're just going to clip through what we've been up to for the last week so you'll be caught up on everything and then we can start vlogging again like normal. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, Sadie. So when we left off, mm -hmm. our friend Matt was here with his family. They were staying in the camper. Help? Are you moving in? All right. And Matt was saying to you that you should take a day off. Oh. Take the day please. off. I think Esther's right. I don't know. Yeah. Right. That's what he said. Uh, I didn't. <laughs> So I'm going through the scrap pile to find pieces of parts for some tomato supports. Um, we had cages that worked for a very long time, uh, but we turned them into firewood last year. They served like, what, three years? Um, so I have no doubt that these aren't exactly permanent, but um, they'll be serviceable for a good long time. We're just building panels so that they're kind of modular. We can set them up in different configurations and uh, I think they'll be useful enough. He's right that we, uh, we needed a little downtime. Uh, I didn't exactly take a whole day or anything, but we definitely slowed down. The heat is pretty intense in the middle of the day. So uh, we've been shifting the schedule around. I'll go inside you know, at lunchtime and stay in for the hottest part of the day, do house stuff or, or whatever, and hang out with the kids a little bit. I'm ready to go move. Where are you moving to? To the one you catch. Just down the road. Just down the road. Okay, see you later, Sadie. Have yeah. a good trip. Send us a postcard. When I look at it, stop moving at the top. I know it's time to throw and also open my hand to catch it. Because if you're looking at it there, you'll know where it goes into your hand. All right, can I try? You can try all you like. So Milo's been hanging out in the shop uh, with me. I haven't forced him to or even really asked him to. He just kind of comes around, uh, which is great. It's a space where he feels totally welcome and uh, he's always curious what's going on. So he'll come by and, and help out with whatever's going on. Maybe he's just uh, wandering around on the shop floor while I'm uh, up on the roof or something and it really works out because he can be there and get me things or uh, r run for for help if I need it or uh, grab something out of the tool room and they just made some uh, tomato cage kind of things for the garden right so we just made um, we just made some panels that we can sort of use in a variety of ways it was easy enough to sort of make a jig and just blast out 16 of them in, a, in an hour or so. Um, and Milo got to use a stapler for the first time and he did great. And I think they look great. We've got them up in the garden. Things in the garden are setting fruit, which is a fun time. Um, a lot With the garden the size it is, a lot of the produce doesn't really make it into the kitchen at this time. We eat our peas and carrots and beans um, right out of the ground or we wash them and then eat them um, and we love it. The garden gives me a really ridiculous like almost cheesy amount of joy. Uh, it's wonderful to watch things grow and it's wonderful to have things coming out of the ground that you can feed your kids with. 
we go down there at five o'clock most days and um, just hang out. There's always something to be done. We're even planting right now for the fall garden. We put in our fall peas and uh, we're putting in fall carrots and things like that. Um, seems like it's too soon, but it isn't. It's actually almost too late to get those um, vegetables going for our fall garden. We have slowed down uh, a bit. Uh, the the work on the shop is kind of piecemeal. It's tiny things here and there, and uh, Esther has managed to uh, schedule in uh, on the calendar a number of family things. Uh, it's nice that she goes and writes them down so that I see them coming. I don't try and work right past them, and uh, they actually happen. So. Uh, a week or so ago, we put a, a, a Milo and Dad camping trip on the calendar. Dad and I are on a camping trip, just me and him. We found a pretty good um, camping site. You can hear the water in the background. Oh, look at the size of this. We had s'morezillas, and now we're just looking at the stars with our fire and sitting around. I can imagine Dad dozed off a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting kind of sleepy. We just kind of went out after dinner to a campground not far from us and uh, had a fire and slept in a tent and uh, it was just a nice little uh, break even though uh, it was a quick overnight and we found a good spot where we'll probably take everybody else back to. And the next thing on mom's list of don't miss summer activities is the treehouse. Nick is kind of downplaying how much work he's done on the shop. It's actually been quite a lot. For him working half days, it's normal. That's what he did all winter was work half days. And he can get a lot done working half days. So we'll fill you in on that. And then we're going to start making a tree house. Right. Um, so we have to start all the way at the, uh, at the milling step, or at least the procurement step of of uh, pieces parts. Uh, this little uh, platform in a tree is, uh, is largely going to be inspired by the material that's available to do it. It's not unlike other things that we build uh, the same way, um, but it's, it is small and manageable. Um, I feel like we have the, the resources lying around mostly to get it done. So it's a have it all kind of summer. The progress continues, but we're doing all the normal summery kinds of things. There's been a lot of berry picking and getting their fingers stained. There's been some swimming in our yucky little pond and also some swimming down at the beautiful lake. Um, and lots cool. and lots of time spent in the gardens. Um, so we're having a wonderful homestead summer. And we're happy to have you caught up. So now my computer isn't going to be overloaded and smoking with all of these um, old little clips. And um, we'll be catching you up again tomorrow. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Not my wife. <laughs>
mom too much to move. Get my little house. So after uh, I dropped a hunk of two by four on my face, Milo made up a game of um, describing a situation with three sound effects. Um, so one person makes sound effects and the other person has to guess what just happened. So what's an example? Well, the example that inspired it was the, yeah. Word, thud, beep. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>